We're in an environment of unprecedented change. Healthcare reform is around expanding access to insurance, but also very importantly, improving health quality and improving affordability. And that's a journey. It's more of a marathon, not a sprint. plans for the exchange and what that means is um, it is intended as far more than just a distribution vehicle for subsidies. Uh, what it is intended to do is really to uh, aggregate purchasing power and accelerate changes uh, that the market needs to really embrace. Massachusetts experience is very relevant to the federal ex, um, reform because it is the model of the federal reform and the, the basic architecture is, is identical, if, uh, is very similar if not identical. The exchange needs to accumulate critical mass and it needs to do so very quickly. Um, I can speak to the Massachusetts uh, Health Connector experience. We have historically run two parallel programs. Uh, one is a subsidized program, uh, which we did have. Uh, we have had critical mass, about 200,000 people, and it has been successful. And a unsubsidized program, uh, which is essentially a storefront of the broader market. And in that program, the success um, it was quite. It was a lot more limited because we did not have scale. So the first program, uh, we were able to achieve annual growth in premium over a seven-year uh, time span, which is quite quite long if you think about it, of less than one. 1%, less than 1% on an annually on an annual basis. And that is, was achieved through fierce carrier competition facilitated by the exchange. Um, on the unsubsidized side, uh, we have had less than 5% of the market share and with very stagnant growth. I would say that um, the unsubsidized program has been a very good source uh, for individuals who are seeking coverage that they otherwise have trouble finding. Um, but I wouldn't say that um, this program has been a meaningful player in terms of promoting competition and innovation. So we have a long way to go with that. Um, so this is very important scale and, and, and I think um, exchanges across the nation, as you think about the future, they need to have a growth strategy, they need to have a volume strategy, and then to achieve that, a few things are important. Obviously, in the short term, you have to make sure there's a website that actually works. Uh, you actually have to have a front, uh, front end that can take people's calls and make sure they have good experience, but there are some more fundamental things. Price advantage is very important. Now, that's good news because with subsidies, the exchanges do have uh, a price advantage to begin with. So one thing that is good um, from our perspective is that by, uh, by way of the ACA, now we're integrating the subsidized side and the unsubsidized side. side and so it's one market, uh, one set of rating rules so that uh, a, a carrier that is well positioned in a subsidized space is also attractively positioned competitively um, in the unsubsidized space so it could be um, better positioned to gain uh, growth in a broader market as well. We've been quite consistent since before the law was signed that we saw that the um, changing U.S. marketplace presented a potential attractive growth opportunity. And, and so why do I caveat it that way? Because to be attractive as a growth opportunity, you not only need to have the scale and volume, but it needs to be sustainable. Um, and, and sustainable need, means the environment needs to enable enough innovation, iterative innovation. Um, we believe in incentive alignment. Um, and transparency, so enough incentive alignment and transparency um, for an organization who's going to dedicate the investments to be able to continue to innovate, engage individuals on a personalized basis, um, and drive sustainable value. So said otherwise, if an exchange is simply a, a purchasing vehicle um, to push price controls into the delivery system, we don't think that's sustainable, and, and nobody is pushing for that today. If it's an opportunity to harness innovation, um, and to create a, a transparent marketplace, that's very attractive. The story in six months or a year or three years will not be about the website and all the, the rollout debacle. Um, the real story, again, will be, of course, uh, the millions of Americans who are now uninsured who will have coverage. It will be about the quality of that coverage uh, and the value. Those are. Um, the stories that uh, expect to see a year from now it, it, by the end of 2014. And so, um, so I, I do, uh, I'm frankly quite optimistic that once we get past these hurdles that we're going to be well on the path uh, um, to healthy form as, as we all had hoped it would be.